great, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Pasta. Uh, do you know Do you know what uh, ALS is? Uh, I've heard of it. Hi. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Anime, California. Thank do you know what ALS is? Yeah. What's it? What's What's ALS stand Excuse for? Me. Um, I forgot what it stands for. All right. Hello. Hi. Hi. Do you know what ALS is? Yes, I do. What's ALS? It's the disease. Yes. And like Lou Gehrig. Yeah, great. That's what it's yeah. also known as. Awesome. Yeah, and I don't know what it is. Do you know what ALS is? Uh, yeah, I know Steve. Yeah. That's right, yes, high five. Uh. Do you know what ALS is? Yes. What is it? It is, um, it's for, um, Lou Gehrig's disease. Oh, that's right, that's right. Do you know what ALS stands for? This is a good tip. Uh, not off the top of my head. Do you, do you know what ALS is? Okay, do you, uh, what does it do to the body? Uh, it's okay if you don't know. I'm blanking out here. What's your least favorite food? Spaghetti. Yeah, it's like eating spaghetti ten <laughs> times a day. Everybody knows what the Ice Bucket Challenge is, but they don't really know what ALS is. And they don't know what it does. So I'm going to talk very briefly about that because I think it's important. Because that's the whole point of this whole thing. Uh, so, ALS, just so you know, stands for amyotropic lateral sclerosis. And what it does is it affects the brain and the spinal cord in a really gnarly, nasty way. A really like, uh, like Sauron created this nastiness. And what it does is you have motor neurons in your brain that control all your voluntary muscle movements. Your voluntary muscle movements. So what happens is this disease, it's a very unpredictable disease because we don't know we don't know how to get it. It's just get it. We don't know how to cure it. There's no cure. There's one FDA approved drug that will slow it down. But we can't cure it and we can't reverse its effects. But what happens is all the communication little, little Jedi Knights that communicate with the spinal cord and the brain to move the muscles and, and, and control your limbs so you eventually just become paralyzed. And so you are quadriplegic, and you just waste your life, and you die. So it's bad, it's bad. It doesn't affect two people the same way, but the outcome is usually the same. You're, you're going to die. And so it's a, it's a big deal. Uh, we've done a, there's been a lot of research about it, but, but that's why we're doing the Ice Bucket Challenge, is to raise money to do more research, because there needs to be more research done, as with all of these nasty things that, that happen. So, uh, I was challenged by Vic, I was challenged by John St. John, I was challenged by Ralph Miller, Adam Sheehan. I was challenged by those guys to, to do this ice bucket uh, challenge. And I will be joined by the con chair here at Anime California, the creator of uh, Anime California, Jeff in the back there, he's gonna join me. decided to take the boiling hot water challenge to support research for better tasting kale. This is going to be hot. Thank you, and have a nice day. Supporting good causes is, well, good.